Uh, this is Hiro Matsuda. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, tools again, but uh, I'm just going to cover the concave cutters, okay? And I'm going to show you the different sizes and slightly different designs. And they all basically do the same thing. It concave cuts so that as the, the tree heals, the bark will not leave a bulge, but flush uh, so it looks like it's never been pruned. Okay, so anyway, today's subject is the concave cutter. What we're looking at is basically the same design. Uh, this is a very large, this is the medium size, this is small, and a very specialized one. This is uh, the size that I use the most. Why I have three of the same size and shape, I'll explain. By just looking at these, it's really hard to say why um, they're different. Well, it has to do with the manufacturer. This one is, well, one is slightly bigger, but it's beefier, okay? And um, this is made from uh, one of the more famous um, manufacturers of bonsai tools in Japan. And this is one of the lesser known. What I use here at the nursery is this one. Now this is in my private collection and this is uh, more than 40 years old. Um, the, the time you can tell the difference between a good one and a superior one is when you cut. Um, this one definitely has a different feel when it cuts and it cuts clean. This one here um, looks almost the same, um, feels almost the same, but when you cut, it really doesn't cut well. It almost smashes. Um, unfortunately, this one is an import. So um, they've learned how to copy the tool, but they haven't figured out the most important part, the cut. Over the years, uh, some of my students have purchased these smaller uh, concave cutters. Well, it's probably because of the cost, but do not do that as your first concave cutter. What happens with the smaller one, uh, you have a tendency to um, try to use it like the, the bigger brother and end up tweaking it. And I've seen the second or third always go with the medium size. It's easier to use the medium size in tight spaces than to use a small one trying to cut a bigger branch that it should have never been attempted. Okay, so don't buy this as uh, the first. Always this one. This is a big one. Uh, and you could cut large branches with this. But, you know, in the 40 years, um, I only used it a few times. It just seems awkward. Um, and now they're quite pricey. But, hey, unless you're um, into collecting tools and you want to get it in your collection, this is not one that is needed. The collection of the concave cutters. I have this one here. That is kind of cute. Um, and the angle is slightly different. Well, this is for um, evidently for doing azaleas and tight cuts. In an old particular tool, was not even available um, uh, 40 years ago when I was collecting all my tools. Um, this is almost like a concave, but actually it's, uh, it actually cuts, well, visualize an ice cream scooper. So instead of just going this way, it kind of goes like that. And so you can really uh, get a good finish. Okay, so this is um, Hiro Matsuda saying goodbye. Now just having covered the concave cutter, I will be talking about uh, the other tools and how to use them. Uh, so keep checking my website, uh, masteryo.com. So I'll see you again in uh, another chapter trying to explain to you how easy it is to do bonsai. Okay, good.